Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Could lifting weights for just 40 minutes a week safeguard your memory as effectively as high-priced Alzheimer's drugs without the $30,000 bill? Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, guiding a deep dive into how resistance training protects your brain. Alongside me is Alara Skye, whose natural health insights translate complex research into steps you can use right away. Thanks, Ethan. Today's focus is the January 2025 study from Brazil, showing that twice-weekly weight training halted shrinkage in your hippocampus and precuneus, two regions that usually suffer early damage in Alzheimer's disease. Those regions aren't minor players. Your hippocampus forms new memories, and your precuneus manages attention and your sense of self. Keeping them intact pushes back against cognitive decline. Exactly. After six months of moderate to heavy lifting, participants maintained volume on the right side of both areas, whereas non-exercisers showed measurable loss. MRI scans confirmed the preservation. Brain structure matters, but function matters more. Five of 22 lifters improved enough that clinicians no longer classified them as cognitively impaired. A huge shift in just half a year. The key drivers were higher levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor and irisin, proteins your muscles release during resistance work. They stimulate neuron growth and repair, turning exercise into a chemical brain booster. Beyond gray matter, the study measured white matter integrity. Fractional anisotropy, the marker for organized nerve fibers, rose in the training group, meaning signals move faster and more reliably across brain networks. Meanwhile, axial diffusivity, an indicator of nerve fiber damage, fell among lifters, but worsened in controls. That combination suggests you're not only protecting tissue, you're improving connectivity that supports clear thinking. Researchers believe longer interventions could reverse early decline, not merely slow it. Isadora Ribeiro, the lead author, suggested multi-year programs might delay or even prevent dementia altogether. That's plausible given the projected rise in global dementia cases, from 57 million now to 78 million by 2030 and 139 million by 2050. Affordable, effective tools like weight training are urgently needed. Cost comparison is stark. Anti-amyloid pharmaceuticals can exceed $30,000 annually, yet moderate lifting requires minimal equipment and guidance. You invest time and effort instead of draining your savings. Exercise's value extends to four interconnected pathways. First, growth factors, BDNF and IGF-1, foster new synapses. Second, inflammation drops curbing proteins that sabotage neurons. Third, cerebral blood flow improves, delivering oxygen and nutrients to demanding brain regions. Fourth, your HPA axis rebalances, lowering cortisol that otherwise erodes hippocampal tissue. A 2024 meta-review in Journal of Aging Research confirmed those mechanisms across dozens of trials. People who adopted regular exercise lowered Alzheimer's risk by up to 45%, and overall dementia risk by 28%. Combining modalities strengthens protection. Aerobic sessions elevate BDNF, resistance lifts, IGF-1, and coordinated moves like dance or Tai Chi challenge multitasking circuits, enhancing cognitive flexibility. Complexity matters. When you learn a new lift sequence or balance pose, you activate the cerebellum and prefrontal cortex, reinforcing networks involved in planning and motor control. Mind-body options are particularly potent for stress. An eight-week yoga program cut cortisol and improved memory test performance, proving gentle movement can sharpen executive function. Chronic inflammation is another villain. A review of 13 trials showed exercisers lowered interleukin-6 and TNF-alpha. Participants with bigger drops in those markers had larger hippocampi and better recall scores. Interestingly, cardiovascular gains aren't mandatory for cognitive benefits. Studies found memory improved even when aerobic capacity stayed flat, underscoring that multiple biological roots are in play. Now, let's address dose. Cardiologist James O'Keefe's work reveals a J-shaped curve. 40 to 60 minutes of weekly strength training maximizes longevity. 
Push past 130 plus minutes and benefits not only stall, they reverse. Overtraining stresses your heart, joints, and immune system. It raises systemic inflammation, the very thing we're trying to reduce, while increasing injury risk and fatigue. Practical takeaway. Two 20-minute lifting sessions on non-consecutive days hit the sweet spot. Choose compound moves, squats, lunges, rows, and presses at moderate load. Eight to 12 repetitions, two or three sets. Progress by adding small weight increments or slowing the eccentric phase, not by stacking extra workout days. Recovery, sleep, hydration, and protein-rich meals completes the adaptation cycle. Pair those sessions with daily moderate intensity walking. You'll enhance blood flow, support joint health, and burn glucose that would otherwise fuel oxidative stress. Older adults often hesitate, fearing injury. Good form and gradual loading prevent problems. Consider working with a trainer for the first few sessions to nail technique. Equipment can be simple. Adjustable dumbbells, resistance bands, or even filled water jugs. Consistency beats complexity. Your muscles respond to tension, not fancy machines. Let's zoom out. Strength training also lengthens telomeres, the protective DNA caps that shorten with age. 10 to 50 minutes per week slowed telomere erosion in a Brigham Young University study. That cellular marker ties directly to biological age. By preserving telomeres, you're effectively turning back your internal clock, supporting organs far beyond the brain. We've covered structural preservation, functional gains, biochemical pathways, optimal dosing, and broader longevity markers. It's clear that smart resistance training belongs in every cognitive health plan. Before we conclude, remember that consistency trumps intensity. Missed weeks erase momentum, whereas steady moderate sessions build cumulative neural resilience. Time for direct action. Schedule two 20-minute weight training sessions this week. After each, jot down how clearly you recall conversations or tasks. Use that self-feedback to refine your routine and keep your brain as strong as your muscles. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.